if you're really diligent about it, you can have a killer, killer product experience by constantly taking feedback from your customers and implementing on it. Hey everyone, welcome to Entrepreneur Use Cases. My name is Sam and today we're gonna to be talking about how to ask your customers for feedback with automated surveys. Too often in business I see people who assume that their product is as good as it possibly can be without ever asking their customers how they're enjoying it, which I think is a fatal flaw. Okay, so what we're essentially talking about here is the most efficient way to gather information about your contacts and constantly improve your offerings. And when I say contacts, we're talking about leads, we're talking about customers, we're talking about prospects, whoever the contacts in your database are, even your partners. You can be asking them for feedback on your, on your products and services or your marketing or whatever else. And also constantly improve your offerings, right? So the, the idea here is to get this feedback and then act on it. Make your products better, make your marketing better, make your content better, right? So this is only as good as the action that you put out at the end of it all. Okay, so why would you wanna do something like this? The first reason is to gather feedback and testimonials seamlessly. So we've already talked about gathering the feedback seamlessly, but the testimonials is a big part as well. Testimonials are great marketing materials. Hearing from someone else who's not affiliated with the company how great that product or service is, is a really, really great selling tool and I hope you take advantage of it. And this is just one way to sort of gather those testimonials without having to remember to like email people, right? Number two, identify the strengths and pitfalls of your business. So not only are we talking about the feedback on your product, but also your business as a whole. Client experience plays a big role in whether or not people are going to buy again with a, with a provider or not. So by asking them, hey, how was your experience you know, coming into our shop or whatever, you know, whatever your business is? You're gonna find some interesting pitfalls as well. You're gonna hear, oh, you know, it's weird. I feel like after a week, I never really heard from you guys and then I heard from you a lot when my month, you know, when my bill was due. That kind of stuff is really, really good information. Three, conveniently store all that information that we just talked about in one place, Entreport, right, in the CRM tool. Okay, so here are two ways you can sort of start to gather this feedback in the real world. The first one is a post-purchase survey. So after they've made a purchase, the goal here is to get really good feedback on your marketing materials, on your, uh, on your product as a whole, you know, things like that. So if a customer makes a purchase, we send them an email with a link to the survey in it. On the landing page for the survey, we have our form, and when they fill out that form, we add that information to the contact record. This is very basic stuff. However, we can incentivize this survey. We can say, hey, thank you so much for purchasing my product. I'm so glad to have you on board. I have a quick customer survey, and if you wouldn't mind filling it out, I'll send you a $15 Amazon gift card, or whatever, or maybe 20% off coupon for your next purchase. So you send them that uh, you know, email asking them for the survey, as well as telling them about the incentive. They follow through, they fill out the form, we add that information to their contact record, then we email them whatever the gift was, right? The coupon code, whatever. Okay, so the second way you can use this in your business, really easy way, is for service call feedback, right? So let's say you're in the service business, let's say you're a consultant or you're a coach of some sort, and you do phone calls with people or in-person consultations. Either way, you're gonna have tasks probably in Entreport set up, and we got a great use case on tasks. You can go check that out if you're, if you're interested. But you do that task, right? You have that service call, you have that consultation call. You hang up the phone, you mark it complete, and then we send them an email that says, hey, thank you so much for taking me up on my coaching today. I really wanna make sure that my coaching is as valuable to you and all my other customers as possible. Here's a link to a, to a customer survey. I'd love it if you would fill it out, and you can even incentivize it like we talked about earlier. So they click that link, they fill out the customer survey, that information is added to the contact record. We've already sort of talked about this in the previous example, but why don't we take it a step further and add all of the survey results to a weekly fulfillment list. Fulfillment list is just a spreadsheet with information from contact records appended to it. So we can add all of the feedback that you get from this survey here to that fulfillment list and set it to fire once a week, let's say Monday at 8 a.m. So then every Monday at 8 a.m., you have a spreadsheet of all of the feedback that your customers from the week previous gave to you. So this is a great opportunity to not improve your product once a year, or once a quarter, or once a decade in some case, but once a week, if you're really diligent about it, you can have a killer, killer product experience by constantly taking feedback from your customers and implementing on it. So those are just two examples. There's a ton more ways you can use this technology in your business. I encourage you to read on. We got some good information down below. We also have tons more videos just like this one on different entrepreneurial topics. I encourage you to check those out, and we'll see you next time.